Welcome to another Tips video on how to use Google Slides on an iPad. And in this video we're going to look at three features that are not in the Google Slides app but you can do on the iPad. So those three are the transitions, animations and the page setup. And to achieve those things we need to use the Safari web browser. So on the Safari web browser, type in slides.google.com. If it tries to take you to the app, then you can just tap the button at the top to go back to Safari. So I create a new presentation here. I would still recommend using the Slides app for creating most of the presentation and then coming to Safari for adding the additional options. So first of all, for the animation, I'm going to draw a shape in just to start with and the animation is found on the toolbar so if you tap on the ellipsis so the three dots and then animate sometimes you might get a few little weird icons appearing don't worry about those they'll disappear so here at the moment it's selected as a fade in and an on click so it would rely on there being a tap for this to come in you can of course choose different options and the interface here you can see is just the same as you get on a computer. The next is for a transition. So on whichever slide that you're on, then you can go and add the relevant transition. You can play to have a look at the effects that would be in use. And I'm just going to add another slide and with this one, I'm just going to give it a different coloured background. And for this transition, I'm just going to choose the cube. So just a little preview as to what that should be looking like. Okay, now you can see on the left hand side of the slides, you've got the icon there to show that there is uh, some movement happening on these particular slides. So we have the animation. From the toolbar, they transition from the toolbar, and by default, the Google Slide is created in widescreen ratio 16 to 9. Now, if you're presenting something on an iPad, the iPad is in the standard screen of the ratio of 4 to 3. So, go to the file menu, scroll down to the bottom, page setup, and that's where you can select the standard or indeed a different custom size as well. Notice that when you go to the standard size, you are getting some more room on the slide to add content to as well. So just think about where the destination of this slide is going to go, whether it's going to be a widescreen or just for the iPad. Hope you enjoy those tips.